YouTube, what's up, it's the 4th Ken, coming at y'all with another video. First things first, if you guys didn't check out my last two uploads, they'll be right here. Watch those real quick. Alright, so today, I know y'all all been waiting for it. I'm going to tell the story of how I became a barber at the age of 14. I'm going to show you some pictures of my old haircuts. Y'all can, can roast me if y'all want. Uh, my name's Ken. My full name's Kenneth. I live in Philadelphia. Uh, I cut hair in my house in my basement. Uh, so, starting out, going back to the past when I was about 10 or 11 years old, I was always particular about getting my hair cut. I wanted it a certain way. If I couldn't get it, I was mad. You know, I would pester my dad and my mom up to, to uh, get me a haircut because I went to this barber, uh, he was really nice, I looked up to him. You know, I used to watch his work, I, I liked what he did. So when I was about 11 years old, I was like, all right, I wanna be a barber. I was real obsessed with my hair, like I always wanted a certain way. I had ways back then, you know, I brushed my hair, uh, comb it. I was like, yo, I need a cut today. When I used to go get my cut, uh, you can ask my old classmates, I used to be like, so hype, hey, I'm about to get a cut today. I got to cut pretty frequently about every week or every two weeks. So after that, fast forward to when I was about 12, I was in basketball camp because my cousin has a basketball camp. And on the way home uh, from the basketball camp, my mom had to make a pit stop to Ross. So I was looking around at Ross and then I saw these pair of Conair Clippers. And they were super aki, but back then I thought they were the best. So I begged my mom, I was like, mom, can I get them please? They're 20 bucks, I'll pay it back for you. She said, all right, Ken, you can get them. So I got them. Uh, if you don't know what they look like, what Conair's look like, a picture of them will be right up here. So as you can see, they're like red and silver. So they're real aki, but I mean, they, they got the job done. I was doing, giving out decent haircuts with the Conair. I, I did my first haircut on my little cousin. Uh, he's Caucasian. Uh, <clears throat> And he wanted like a bald mohawk. I have the video I'm gonna share. Uh, so he wanted a bald mohawk. I was I was nervous, but I was like, there's only one way you can get good is by practicing. So I just dove straight in. It was bad. I, I didn't mess him up exactly, but it was just not ideal haircut uh, like the ones I give out now. So uh, after that, he had a little brother. I cut him. Uh, so my first clients that I cut were Caucasian. So. Uh, my other clients after that were, of course, black. Uh, that's the type of hair that I have the most practice with. So I was really particular about it. So I, I, I got the pair of clippers. Uh, my dad had an old pair of Andes T outliners. They were real rusty and dull. I was like, yo, pops, let me use them. Because I, I didn't have any shape-up clippers. Yeah, I documented my barber journey uh, to where I am today. Hopefully, later on in the years of my life, I'll be able to document uh, more footage and photos and videos vlogs, YouTube videos that I'll be able to bring out uh, from the books, if you will. So, yeah, then uh, I was giving out decent haircuts throughout 2015 through winter. Then I took a long break. I only cut about, like, one person a month. Took a long break. Ain't pick up a pair of clippers for, like, eight months, I think. Then I was like to my friend Bronze, uh, yo, bro, let me cut your hair. I'll bring my clippers to your house because we always used to hang out, still hang out. We go over each other's houses. And he was like, all right, let me ask my pop. All right, he said, yeah, brought my stuff over there. I, I gave him. This was after months of, of not cutting hair. But I was still, I wasn't rusty because uh, I was watching videos like uh, like 360 Jeezy. Picking stuff up from his videos, uh, techniques, how to hold the clipper, what clippers to use. So then uh, I, get, I cut his hair. Uh, it was, it was, it was all right. It was a decent haircut, but, uh, I, I, I wish I would have done it better. It was, of course, specific spots that I could have fixed up, but, uh, here's a picture right here. It's right here. So as you can see, it's a lot of dark spots right there and it's fade, like on in this side and both sides. It was just not an ideal haircut, uh, as I said before. After that, uh, I took a little break to about September. Started cutting some of my classmates. I got starting getting good, uh, getting more clout on Instagram or on, uh, not on YouTube. It wasn't. I didn't make my channel yet. 
that I always wanted to make a YouTube channel, but I was like, hold on, let me get good first, then let me hop on YouTube, because then I'll be able to increase my revenue, uh, my audience, uh, and attract views, attract uh, people who want to watch my videos, because if you're corny, quite frankly, I don't want to watch your videos, so how much more would a random person want to watch your videos if you suck? So I wanted to get good first before I make the videos, and then... Uh, Go in, just dive into YouTube, which I'm doing now. So fast forward, uh, 2016 school year, around March, I got on punishment. Uh, my first video, I think I posted in January, that had like 3,100 views right now. First video I posted in January, took a long break, I was on punishment. I was getting suspended from school, uh, acting up, talking back to the teachers, all this crazy stuff that I regret. Cause I really could have, I could be better than what I am now if I had those extra four months of practice. So I took a four month break. Of course, it wasn't my decision. My parents put me on punishment, which is understandable because I was acting crazy out of line. And that was one of the worst punishments because my favorite thing to do was cut hair. I mean, of course, I like playing video games, watching TV, uh, having my phone, but cutting hair is my passion. That would, ha not having that was like one of the worst punishments I ever had in my life, man. It was horrible. Like, I couldn't enjoy the one thing I like doing. So, uh, yeah, man. So, fast forward to summer. Uh, got this barber chair. Uh, for those of you who watched my Instagram story that time, I'm not sure how many of you on YouTube did, but I'm sure a few of you. I went to Snyder's, replaced all my clippers, went to the Hail Tailor, got Oster Fast Feeds, and fast forward to right now, I was giving off some decent haircuts as... Uh, I'm gonna show y'all right here. So scrolling through the videos and the haircuts and the photos, I was given some decent haircuts with these clippers. So that's my story. But y'all see my setup before? I might do a little tour of my in-home barbershop. But yeah, I cut my basement. Got lights on my side. Light one light up there. But yeah, man, this is my story. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha